Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's four ways of creating a monochrome image using just the apply image control. So let's take this and hit control J four times for the different ways of doing it. The way we're going to do uh, three of them at least is if this is the red, green and blue values for each pixel, it's going to be completely different. But you can from that say, what can we see here? We can see a maximum value and we can calculate this. And we can see a minimum value and calculate this. And in the middle, there's an average value and we can calculate that. And all we need to do is make sure that red, green and blue are the same for each pixel. And that will make sure that it's a monochrome image. So let's do it. Go to filters, apply image, and then here, use current layer as source and equations and then put an equation in here. So we say, Let's start with the minimum of SR, comma, SG, comma, SB. So now the destination red is the minimum of the source red, green, and blue. And we apply the same for the green and cut and paste the same for the blue. And there we go. That is the minimum apply image. And as you can see, it's a fairly dark one because it's lower down. So that's a lower value, which is close to black, which is absolute zero. Try the next one. So now we'll go filters, apply image, and again use current layer of source and equations. And now we'll do the maximum, which is simply max sr, comma sg, comma sp. And we'll control c, copy that, and paste it into the other ones. And there, again, unsurprisingly, this is lighter. So I'll we'll apply that. Let's give these names. Let's call that one min. This one we just did is max. And the next one's going to be average. And for that, if we go filters, apply image, and use current layer of source equations. And now it's the whole word average sr, comma sg, comma sp. So it's the average of those red, green, and blue. Control C to copy. Control V to paste on those and there we go that's somewhere in between the minimum and the maximum and the last one we're going to do is to go filters apply image and now what we're doing here is going to take a proportion of each of the red green and blue as long as they add up to one which is 100 percent then we're okay so what we do is we're going to say 0.6 times sg which is the green and we do that because our eyes are more sensitive in that green area plus 0 0.3 times sr because red is the next most sensitive plus 0 0.1 just 10 percent times sb the blue and you can change those percentages quite easily, but that's a fairly common one to use. And there we see a fairly good distribution across there. For example, if you want to do a, a accentuate the blue, you get more detail perhaps in the sky. Let's apply that. So there we go. That is the, let's call it a proportion. So you've got proportion, average, which is fairly similar in this case. You've got the lighter one, which is the max, and min, which gives you a darker one. What you can also do is if you look at the histogram, there's space either side here, and we can stretch the histogram out very quickly by clicking up here on auto levels. And that just is going to make that stretch out to fill there. So we can do the same with each one. So this is another slight variation. But make sure you get from full white to full black on each one. And this one. And the last one. And you can do that manually using the levels control if you want to, which will give you a little bit more choice in it. So there you go. There's proportion stretched out. There is the average. See, just subtle differences, and it can, can be important. There's the maximum. So the sky here is whiter. If you want to white out the sky, if, for example, you're going to be choosing it or whatever, 
then that's a way to go if you like a lighter one. Uh, and a darker one if you want dark Imudia. Notice here you've got a far more detail in the sky. There you go, four ways to do it, quick and easy. And thank you very much for watching.